6, the trial of Eric Boyd wrapping now its second day. This was a crime that rocked the Knoxville area. As you likely recall, Boyd is now the fifth defendant in this case on trial for the kidnapping, rape, and murders of Shannon Christian and Chris Newsom more than a decade ago. Today, a convicted killer in this same case taking the stand after making a deal with prosecutors. WATE 6 on your side reporter Madison Keeby is covering this case for us from start to finish. Yeah, Madison, what new information is the prosecution learning right now? Well, Kristen, according to Thomas's testimony, Boyd was not only at that Chipman Street house that night in January 2007, but he pulled the trigger and killed Newsom. The testimony today makes Boyd out to be LaMarcus Davidson's closest friend among the group and confidant. What did you notice about her? Uh, she had a, a oversized hoodie on with her uh, eyes blindfolded and her wrists were bound. Details from inside the house on Shipman Street as told by someone who was there, George Thomas taking the stand. His testimony putting Eric Boyd at the Chipman Street house at the same time as Shannon Christian and Christopher Newsom. The jury already familiar with the house from prior testimony. Does he walk into the bedroom? Do you hear anything? No. Does he say anything? Not that I can hear if he did say anything. Thomas says he didn't hear anything inside the front bedroom where LaMarcus Davidson took Christian. He says Boyd was inside the room too. Now, who is the one who says, let us finish up what we're doing first? Uh, Mr. Ward. Did you know what he was Thomas about? acknowledging he's been convicted for the kidnapping, rape, and murders because he was there, but he says he didn't play a role. He like, what was going on? So like, he just killed him. Can you describe the gun that you saw Mr. Boyd with? He had a, it was a automatic uh, 22. Thomas will be back on the stand first thing tomorrow morning for cross-examination. That's taking questions from Boyd's attorney. And we know based on opening statements that Boyd's attorney is going to put doubt in the juror's mind about as to whether Thomas is telling the truth. Ladies. All right, Madison, thank you mm -hmm. so much. And of course, everyone, we have been following this case from the very beginning. Yeah. We will be staying with this trial step by step and keeping you up to date. And be sure to follow Madison on social media as she live tweets the testimony from the courtroom. We'll also be live streaming testimony as soon as court gets back in session tomorrow. So download our app or visit our website, WATE.com. An update now.